Hi guys, today we are going to show you the installation of ESES Premium 2.8.2 on Windows 7. Starting from the compressed file, extract this file, open the extracted folder and find the MSI file named ESES Launcher Premium 2.8.2 and start the installation. Click next. Install the program at its default location and next, then click install. If you get this window asking you to allow this program, just click yes and go ahead. When completing the installation, uncheck view readme file if you want. For in a way, click finish. The readme text shows you some information such as supported ESAS versions, requirements, and initial setup. Now at your desktop, ESAS Launcher Premium shortcut is created. Open it. Token generation window will appear only the first time you're running the ESIS Launcher Premium and prompt you to create password. Type your password in the first box and confirm it again in the second one. Then click generate token. Now, token was generated successfully. Click OK. ESIS will loading and startup. Now you can use ESIS without trimmed CAFD. How to upgrade your old version of PSDZ Data Lite to a newer version? Go to the folder named PSDZ data, which is located at C data, and delete this folder. Extract the new PSDZ data light to the same location of the deleted folder. Remember not to merge the new folder to the old one. What I'm doing here is extracting the compressed file, then moving it to the previously mentioned location.
and now you have the newer and the higher version of the PSDZ data light and it's ready to use. Thank you for watching.